Welcome learners. Today's topic is electrochemistry. Subtopic is quantitative treatment of electrolysis. Now begin with you are supposed to know how to find the quantity of electricity. Quantity of electricity is always given by the formula quantity of electricity equals to current times time. That is Q is equal to IT. The unit of current is ambience. The units of time is seconds. The units of quantity for quantity of electricity is columns, that is C. Now, there are three things we're going to do in this subtopic here. We're going to look at how to find the charge on an ion, how to find volume or how to find volume of gas produced, how to find mass deposited or mass of a gas, then lastly, how to find either current or time taken. Now the first one, which is finding, to be able to find the charge on an ion, the students should be provided in the question, the mass deposited, it should also be provided with current and time taken. Now, the steps you are going to follow to calculate the charge on the ion is, step one is to find the value of Q, that is quantity of electricity, which is Q is equal to IT. Now, from the current given, you multiply time in seconds. So if the time is given in uh, minutes, you multiply by 60. If the time given is hours, you multiply by 3600 to convert to seconds. Now, step two, you so are required to find the quantity of electricity for one mole. That is how to find that. You take the mass deposited is equal to the quantity in step one. What about the relative atomic mass of the element being deposited? Now, if you could multiply that, you'll get, you'll get the quantity of electricity required to deposit one mole of that substance. Now, is to find the number of Faradays. Now, the number of Faraday is obtained by taking the quantity of electricity in step two, divided by 96,500. Now, if you get 2 Faraday, as the same as a charge of 2 plus. If the number obtained is 3.4, you round up to 3. You get a charge of 3 plus. Now, for example, when a current of 26 amperes was passed through a molten salt of metal X, 6.4 grams were deposited at the cathode. Calculate the charge on metal X. Now the solution to that question I said was step one is to find the value of Q. So I'll say Q is equals to I T. Now I given the question is twenty eight so the value of the current given the question is twenty six point eight. Time given is twelve minutes. So that means therefore the current you take twenty six point eight times twelve times 60. Now if you multiply that 1,206 you get, you get 19,296 C columns. That's your step one. Now I said in step two you find the quantity for one mole. You take the mass deposited 6.4 grams is equal to 19,000 296 C what about the RM copper which is 64 grams for a small like that you get 19,296 times 64 divided by 6.4 the answer you get there is 192,960 C now, I said step 3, you find the number of Faraday. It is now to find the number of Faraday. Note that 1 Faraday is always equal to 96,500 C. So, in this case here, the number of Faraday, number of Faraday is equal to 192,960 Divide by 
96500C. The answer I get there is 2F. Now, if you get a value of 2F, the charge therefore, charge is therefore is equal to 2 plus. So the charge is equal to 2 plus. So the formula of the ion will be X2 plus. Number two, you want to look at how to find either volume of gas produced, how to find mass of gas produced, or how to find mass deposited. Now, your step one here, you write the ionic equation. The aim, of the aim of writing the ionic equation is to know the number of electrons lost or gained. Now, if I lose four electrons, that's the same as four Faraday. If I gain two electrons, that's the same as two Faraday. And one Faraday is equal to 96,500 96, C. After writing the ionic equation, your step two is to find the value of Q. Now, Q is given by current times time. Now, after finding the value of Q, the next step now is to find the volume or the mass deposited. Now, how to find that? You take the number of electrons obtained above times 96500 is equals the volume at STB or RTB. What about the value of Q you obtain in step 2? Now, for example, as an example of a question is Calculate the volume of gas produced at the anode at RTB when a current of 18 amperes was passed through dilute sodium chloride for 24 minutes using graphite electrodes. I said now here, yeah, your step one is to write the ionic equation at the anode. Now, to write the ionic equation at the anode, you are supposed to know, we are told dilute sodium chloride. So the ions present is sodium ions, chloride ions, hydrogen ions, and hydroxide ions. Now, hydroxide ions and chloride ions migrate to the anode, where we say it because they the same dilute sodium chloride using graphite electrodes, then hydroxide ions are discharged at the anode, as shown. So the equation first becomes four hydroxide ions arrow to water plus oxygen plus four electrons that's your step one now your step two is to find the value of q q is given by i t that is current times time current the question given is 18 amperes so i take 18 times 24 minutes times 60 because you're converted to seconds is 25,920 columns P is now to find the volume of gas produced at the anode I said the number of electrons you lost is the same as 4 Faraday so the answer here becomes 4 times 96500 C is equal to the volume at RTB which is 24,000 centimeters cubed what about this one here this value of Q here what about 25,920 C Cross multiply, it will be 24,000 times 25,920 divided by 4 times 96,500C. So the answer becomes, so the answer here becomes. 16 and 11.6 centimeters cubed to find current or time i say the steps you're supposed to follow is first of all to write the ion equation the ion equation helps you to know the number of little lost or gains that tells that gives you the number of faradays you need now in step two we need to find the value of q and the value of q can either be found by either using the mass given or the volume given whereby you'll say 
if it is volume given you take if it's rtb or stb you'll say 24000 centimeters cubed is equals to the number of electron lost or gain in step one times 9600 what about the volume given now if you are using the mass then your step three is to find the current by using formula q is equals to it now for example you are told for 4,800 centimeters cubed of a gas was produced at RTB at the cathode when a current of Q amperes was passed through dilute zinc chloride for 36 minutes. Find the value of Q. Bracket is MGV 24,000, 1 epsilon 9,6500C. Now step one for solve that question. Your step one is said to write the equation first. Now to write the equation, you are supposed to know which ounce will discharge at the cathode? Now the ounce present is zinc ounce and chloride ounce for the solute. Hydrogen ounce and hydroxide ounce for the water. Now the ounce that migrate the cathode are a zinc ounce and a hydrogen ounce. Now the equation at the cathode, therefore, because you say zinc ounce and hydrogen ounce, the ounce that discharge at the cathode becomes hydrogen ounce because it is below zinc in the chemical series. So the equation becomes two hydrogen ounce plus two electrons gives you hydrogen gas. So it means therefore we have known that we have two electrons here, which are gains. Your step two, I said, is to find the value of Q. How do I find the value of Q? I'll say the 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 RTB, the volume was produced at RTB. So I say 24,000 centimeters cubed is equals to 2 times, this 2 is this one here, times 96,500 bracket C. What about the volume got produced, which was 4,800 centimeters cubed? Cross multiply, I get 2 times. 96500 times 4800 divided by 24000. The answer I get is that 8600 C. Now, step 3 is now to find the value of Q, that is a current. So, you say Q is equals to it the value of q is this one here 38600 time taken was that six minutes so we'll say that eight thousand six hundred c is equals to i which you don't know time is 36 times is 60 to convert to seconds Therefore, A, I is equals to 38,600 divided by 36 times 60. So I will be given by 10.87 amperes. And the lesson, the next lesson we're going to look at application of electrolysis.